Okay, uh, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about feedback. Now, feedback in a delay means exactly the same thing it means in any uh, in English-speaking situation. Uh, feedback means something goes out and it comes back in. And the one that, that we, I think, probably are most concerned about, anybody who's played live has, has struggled with those freaking feedback issues of monitors and the whole awful uh, disease known as live sound. And all that is, of course, is, you know, sound comes from the microphone, goes comes out the monitors, and then gets right back in the microphone, and goes to the monitors, and it starts, blah, 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 it starts going. That's my way of doing a, a loop, feedback loop, so, blah, 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 in case it wasn't obvious. Well, we're doing something similar here today, and we've got, uh, you know, the most primitive of all, not even primitive, just dumb, simple uh, little chord progression here on with, with really bad synth sounds bad like Michael Jackson now that quote unquote uh, chord progression was was uh, written intentionally with delay in mind that's why I did the kind of the stab trick now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make the feedback zero and I've got this set on eighth note on eighth note this is the, that Kajar is or however the hell you say that uh, uh, delay really fun and free Yes. Okay, it's still not awesome, but uh, we, we've get, we're getting somewhere here. Now, when we start talking about feedback again, all that means is is this delay's got whatever its input, as you can see here, and it's tearing it up with some kind of tape emulator. Okay, then it knows it's, it's going to do an, an eighth note. And then we got our delay time, which same thing, eighth note. And then it's um, got a little bit of uh, EQ filtering on the thing, as you probably heard. Um, all that's fine, but what happens is, is when it comes out of all this processed, and then we go, -doo 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 -doo. let's put it right back in. And not not a million. If we put a million in, well, I'm going to show you a million. I like doing a million. That's another video too. But uh, what we just add a little bit of this feedback business let's start seeing what happens and keep in mind that again it's filtered we've knocked off everything above uh 4k or something and then uh we've knocked off everything under i don't know 300 or something so this is very a mid band uh band pass kind of a deal uh very shelved so let's check it out and that that last note's a good one because uh there's we have a lot of space after it. You can hear it go. It doesn't just go, you know, bomb, bomb, bomb being the, the dry uh, track, and then the, the second one be bump. But you hear kind of a bomb, 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 bomb. But it, it's subtle. It's soft right now. But listen. All right, we're going to turn it up a little bit. And so what's cool about using feedback, and this is something you can't do with any other method that I know of, is it goes through those filters every single time. And so the eighth repeat, I guess we're doing eight, I don't know. But anyway, when it starts bouncing, dun, 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 it's getting uh, less and less low end and, and less and more and more top ends being knocked off. So it's a pretty cool uh, effect in itself, how it changes. It creates a dynamic uh, movement, I guess you could say. I'm really big on sounds that are alive. And while this will chew up a lot of space, um, it's also a cool way to, to uh, my say, chew up space like in the mix from other instruments. It's also a great way to add dimension to a track. Now, we're, let's keep on going with this. I'll go ahead and show you when we start getting nuts. So this is actually getting turning into being... Uh, only bad as opposed to horrendous uh, and you started to hear what's really fun uh, with with any note type stuff you put it on drums it's not a big deal but you put it on um, uh, lead guitars or, or synths or, or vocals anything with notes um, lead type instruments especially and you'll start hearing them harmonize or clash uh, with one another because whatever this note is uh, R or something uh, will feed back into the, the J chord coming up here. So let's just turn 100% feedback, one of my favorite things to do ever, and watch for this.
and okay i forgot this one's not a great one uh when we get into echo boy well we'll get we're gonna get into some serious business theoretically 100 percent delay uh or excuse me 100 percent feedback should never stop um and this this one obviously wimped out who wrote this stuff i want to tell him what a sissy is Arr. no i've not been drinking today but anyway just remember that with with feedback you can take signal that's coming out of our uh our delay and shove it right back in and force it through all those filters every single time and by doing so we can create some cool bounce some uh some cool space some cool groove some whatever daddy oh all right guys thanks bye